Welcome back to uh, another video today, people! Welcome back, okay? If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to like. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Now, today, we should have two videos out. This should be the first one, okay? And this is a different type of video today. We're going to talk about each Premier League team, each 20 of them. Talk about the ins, talk about the outs. Of the, Jan Jan of the January transfer window. And then. We're going to rate it out of 10. Okay. Yeah. You get what I mean. Let's, let's get into it. Yeah. So first up is Arsenal. Who brought in Odegaard on a loan. Pretty decent. They brought in Rakik from Hearth Berlin. A 19 year old centre back. And Matt Ryan, the goalkeeper from Brighton, are also alone. Um, not a bad transfer window. Um, Ozil was sold. Maitland Niles was loaned out to West Brom, which we'll get on later. Um, Willock was also loaned out to Newcastle, which again we'll talk about that a bit later. Mustafa went to Schalke. Permanently, Saliba out on loan to Nice, Klasinac I think is alone as well, which is also gone to Schalke. And then also Socrates I think has gone to Olympiacos and then a few youth players have gone out on loan and that. So overall I don't think they needed anyone significant. Um, they brought in another goalkeeper, brought in an attacking midfielder. Someone you create, you can create can be creative and could be why they get Europa League. Could be the reason, you know. They need someone like Smith Rowe. You can't just put it all on Smith Rowe. And I think Odegaard is a class above Smith Rowe and could help them really, really, could help them significantly to get into a top seven spot. Um, so I'm going to say the window is a 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, next up is Aston Villa, who only brought in Sanson for 14 million um, out. Just a little bit of youth in that out. Um, not anything big out. Not, uh, not anything big in. I think it's a fairly... Okay, transfer window. Six out of ten. It was. It's not great. It's but it's not terrible at the same time. It's a six out of ten for me. Actually, no way. We're gonna drop that. Actually, it's a five out of ten because that's in the middle. I don't know why I would say six. I think they would need to bring someone else in. <coughs> Sorry for that. Not. It was just a little cough for people to jump into declusions, conclusions, not declusion. I said declusions. What is a declusion? Bloody hell. Stop jumping to conclusions, okay? Just a little cough. Chill. Um, yeah, 5 out of 10. Brighton brought in, is it Moyes or Moses? Um, Cassiero? For 4.5 mil. I've heard a lot of people. A lot of Brighton fans read about him. Apparently they're really happy with him. Um, I can't remember what position he is. If I check. I think he's a striker. I think he's a, tr uh, a striker. He might not be. Let me just check. I want to make sure we get this right, you know. Um, just hold on a minute. We want to make sure we can get this right. I 
think he needs a striker. Um, and again, this is no like non-edited thing. Whatever I say, I say at the end of the day, we don't cut it out because we're a bit lazy. <laughs> And not really lazy, we'll put like the edits in and that obviously, but I don't like cutting things out anymore. I think it, I prefer it like this. It's a proper just one on one talk and that, you know. Where is he? Where is Cassiano? Oh, I'm just going to type his name in. Because this really will um, decide whether I give this a 5 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10, really. Um... Cassiedo is a oh he's a midfielder he's a midfielder sorry 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 he's a midfielder I think I was thinking of the um, other Cassiedo the one that plays for Lazio I think the one that plays in Serie A anyway I think I was thinking more of him yeah he's a central mid this one. Do they need, do, if, you, if there is any Brighton fans watching, do you need, a, actually need a central mid? Because I think you, I thought you were fine up there, okay? But, we'll give it a 6 out of 10. A lot of Brighton people did like this. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a 6 out of 10. Next up, we're going to go a bit quicker now because we don't want this to be too long and we don't want to drag on. Okay, so Burnley brought no one in. Brought no one out. Zero out of ten for them. Appalling. They need to be making transfers and they just didn't. Chelsea, no one in. But Tamori went out on loan. Drinkwater went out on loan. I think a few youth players also went out on loan. It's a one out of ten, okay. Palace next. They brought in John Philippe Mateta on loan from Mainz. Um, we'll give that a 3 out of 10 no one out but one player in could help them could be really significant could get them goals and that he is a striker so we'll have to see so yeah we'll give that a 3 out of 10 for Palace's window Everton I'm just going to say 3 out of 10 as well they brought one player in and that was Josh King um, they took they let go with Tosson Blassie Kenny and a few young players as well out on loan so yeah 3 out of 10 for Everton as well for Fulham they brought in Josh Maja on loan from I I forgot what team it was I've forgotten what team it was um, but uh, yeah they brought him in on loan anyway Fulham I'm trying to think of what do we give them. Cabano, Kamara left out on loan. Josh Marja in on loan. 2 out of 10. Not a great window, but it's okay. Um, Leeds, nothing in, nothing out. That is a 0 out of 10. And we can move on to Leicester, who also brought no one in. But Damari Gray left. And I'm going to say that's a 1 out of 10 because you've left a... You let a player go and you've not replaced him in that. It is very poor on Leicester's half that. So we'll give that a, a DSL 1 out of 10. Um, Liverpool next. Davies, Ben Davies in from Preston. 500,000. I think it will end up adding up to 2 mil. Um, as well, Quebec with a loan with an option to buy. Um, and I do not want to get this wrong. Kabak's option to buy um, is 
I think it was like 18 mil. I think it was 18 million for an option to buy. Um, who left? Seth Vandenberg left to go to Preston on loan. Um, I think William Miller left to go to Reading. And I think that's it. So overall, as a Liverpool fan especially, I know that this was a, a big window for us. And I will give it a 7 out of 10. We've managed to bring in two centre-backs, which is what we need. We left it a bit late. We left it till the final day, which I am a bit sad about. Because if we waited, if we got them earlier, we might have been able to get a third one in. Because it seems that Matip out for the rest of the season. And Van Dijk might not be back this season as well, which we kind of already knew. But there was a little bit of hope, and now it's been crushed. And Gomez and I as well. So that's three centre-backs out. So we only have two still. And Nat Phillips. So it's OK. But yeah, we needed them two defenders in. And yes, yeah, seven out of ten. Next up, we have Man City, who brought no one in. And sold or warned out nobody as well. Zero out of ten for them. It was just a nothing window for them. Um, United brought in no one. They warned out Lingard. It's a minus one out of ten. Minus one. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Why would you... You know what, actually, I know why. You warned out Lingard. Who warned out Lingard, man? It's Lingard Dino. I'm not even a United fan, but Lingard Dino is too good. Is he though? I'm just joking, by the way. I'm just joking before people think I'm... So I really mean Lingard is good. He's not good. And you'll find out what I give West Ham for signing him, OK? Um, but, yeah, I'll just give United a minus one, you know, because they're just not good. Uh, Newcastle have brought in Willock on loan. And they also got rid of Yedlin. 4 out of 10, I think, is fair for them. Sheffield, nothing in, nothing out. A 0 out of 10 for me. Um, Southampton brought in Takumi Minamino, the best Japanese player in the whole league of all time. They have warned him in and out was Valerie to Birmingham on loan. We'll give that a little 5 out of 10. Pretty decent. Okay. Tottenham Hotspurs, nothing in, nothing out. Zero out of ten. West Ham, busy, busy, busy window. Maitland Niles in on loan. Yuck. Young, I, I hope I get this right. Yokunswe. Yokunswe is brought in on loan as well from Celta Vigo. I believe he's a centre back. We might be a CDM. Um, but he's defensive, I believe. Diagne has also come in on loan. Snodgrass has come in. And uh, so has Andy Lonergan. Out Charlie Austin, I believe, is just a loan. I forgot what team it was to, but it is a loan. Um, 7 out of 10 for West Brom. They've brought in people to try and keep them up. And Sam Allardyce is a genius because he's probably going to keep them in now. The, the Premier League, you know. He did it with Sunderland. I think he can do it with West Brom as well. Um, West Ham have confirmed the deal of Benarama for 20 mil. I think we already knew that, but yeah. Um, and also Wingard has come in on loan. We'll, we would give that a 5 out of 10. Oh, because also Haller and Snodgrass left. I would give it a 5 out of 10. And the reason why I would give it a 5 out of 10 is because they wanted a striker and did not get one. But the fact that, that <clears throat> the fact that I've heard that David Moyes apparently might have to play Lingard, Lingardinho at centre forward blows my mind. You'll want Wingard to do a Firmino job. Oh, no. 
That is not good. That is not what you want, okay? So for, it goes from a five to a minus five. Honestly, you cannot be doing that. That is atrocious, West Ham. Anyway, Wolves have now signed William Hosey on loan and nothing out. I mean, there was someone out. It was Catrone out on loan. Six out of ten, it was all right for them. But that is it for the list of players in, players out, and rating them all. I hope you have enjoyed. If I forget to edit, it's because I rushed this one out so I can get the other one edited, okay? So don't worry. This one is a great one. I'll be honest, it's not a great video. I did have to pause a few times. But the next one, and you must subscribe so you don't miss it, it will be the ready for for Brighton, okay? We, 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 man can't speak. We will talk about each team and that. Predict lineup, predict the score. And yeah, that one will be the better video out, and you must see it, okay? You must not miss it okay so yeah like the video if you did enjoy subscribe if you did like this video and you do like my content also in the comments let me know what you want to see okay do you want to see me do a game do you want me to see me do reaction videos or talk some about football so uh, i i don't know i don't know if you want to see me do something on this channel let me know in the comments okay hit the comments down below also description huge not youtube this is youtube description will have my tiktok and my twitching go check them both out go follow them both okay subscribe here it's been your boy archer 76 do not miss the next episode later on and i will see you soon